Hello and welcome to Economics. This is the first video of this crazy mixed up year in which we are dealing with COVID and we're going to have to do a lot of these types of lectures. What I'd like to do is a reverse classroom. I think I've talked about that in the class if you haven't already been there. Um, we're going to be putting a lot of these videos online so that you can see some things, think about some of these things, and then bring your questions to class so that we can discuss them a little further. So these are the basic outlines in which you can understand a little bit more about economics so that you can come to be better about this topic. All right, first thing we're going to start with, most people are asked what is economics and what is it the study of, and they will say the study of the economy, and that's a very good guess. Uh, that is both right and kind of wrong because in economics we're studying far much more than that. Um, all kinds of things go into economics. Economics, another option people might say is it's the study of money and we will study money quite a bit because that it leads us to the thing we're really studying which are people's choices. Economics is the study of choices. Why do you do what you do? Why do other people do what they do? Why do businesses do what they do? Why do governments do what they do? States, counties, cities, all the way up and all the way down to the individual. That is what we're studying in economics, okay? All people make choices. All people make choices. If you are a living, you make a choice. Every moment of every day, you are making a choice. Even if you say, I'm not making any choices, that's still a choice that you've made. There is only one group of people that do not make choices. That group of people is the dead. They do not make any choices. So, if you are part of the living, breathing human population, you are a choice maker. And you need to study economics for that reason. All right. We study economics because reality is what we need to deal with in order to live. If you're going to be alive, you're going to have to deal with reality. And if you want to live well, you're going to have to understand how reality works and you're going to have to function within it. Many, if not all, of today's problems come from the wish not to deal with reality. Okay, I want you to understand that statement. Many, if not all of the problems that we see today come from the wish to not deal with reality. This is a problem that a lot of people face and it's kind of fascinating to me that they refuse to understand how things work so that they could fix the problems in their life or in their city or in their business or in their government. They need to understand how things work in order to function properly. And that's why we study some economics. So for example, if you wish to fly and you do not want to deal with reality, you could go up to the top of a building and you simply jump off you will fly for about four or five seconds and then you will hit the ground and then you won't be alive anymore because you have failed to deal with reality in the proper way. Now those people who do understand reality, they can fly. You say, that's crazy Mr. Haight, what are you talking about? No. If you understand aerodynamics and you design a plane that fits into the rules of reality and those aerodynamics, you can get on a plane and you can fly. And people do it all the time. And you say, but I don't want to fly like with power. You say, well, okay. How about you hop in a hang glider? You're, you're still understanding aerodynamics. It gives you the lift and overcomes the drag and you get the speed you want. You can launch out there and you can soar across the skies. You can fly if you understand the reality of aerodynamics. You can take yourself up in a hot air balloon, totally different from aerodynamics, and you can still fly because you understand reality. There are laws to nature, there are laws to how things work, and so you can actually take advantage of those laws. Working within them, you can get what you want. But you can't evade reality. You can't simply fly just by launching yourself out into space, okay?
These are some of the things that we're going to be discussing in this class because we need to understand how reality works so that we can function within it and we can make our lives better. Uh, this is something that's been going on since the beginning of time, but you need to understand that existence exists. In modern day terms, we can say it is what it is. It is. You can't just wish it away. You can't say, oh, I, I wish it was different and I'll just deal with things if they're different because that it'll just work because I want it to. Um, you'll find a lot of the problems today, especially politically, stem from this type of philosophy. I don't want to deal with the way things are. I want to pretend that there's something else, and so I'll just do that. And then you get some pretty bad results. Uh, you go all the way back to Aristotle, one of the famous Greek thinkers. He was quite famous. He was the... Uh, teacher of Alexander the Great, and he was sort of the grandson of Socrates, if you want to talk about it as far as their steps there. Aristotle came up with the idea that A is A. You've heard this in your math classes. It is the mathematical law of identity. Something is itself. The number one is equal to the number one. And you say, oh, well, that's obvious. It's not so obvious as soon as we get into things in the next few lectures. You're going to see some real crazy things that have happened, okay? So, A equals A. This is the mathematical law of identity. Things are, they exist, and they are what they are. You can also think of this as humans are human. So you must understand the rules to being a human in order to understand how humans work and to get the result you want. If you fail to treat humans like humans, you get all kinds of crazy problems. And sometimes you even get a lot of death. And we've seen that in our history classes, okay? Socrates, sort of the foundational thinker of all of these Greek philosophies, one of his famous sayings was, to know thyself is the beginning of wisdom. You have to know what you are. You have to understand how you work then you can start having some wisdom. Okay, so economics is the study of discovering reality and how to deal with it. Your book might say big long wordy definition, but I'm giving you a very short one right here. Economics is the study of discovering reality and how to deal with it. Okay, and why do we then study economics? because it is a study of choices and how we can make good choices and how we can make the best choices so that you can have the best individual life, the best business life, the best city, the best county, the best state, the best country, the best world. So that is why we study economics. It is a huge undertaking. It is foundational to all living, I would say. And so that is why we're going to be studying that. If you want to ask me more questions during class about this, we'll get to it then. See you there.